doing a celebration of life birthday Ghanaian dish called Oto or Eto. for tonight, Shannon. My business is called Plants Kingdom. I create delicious plant-based foods and beverages that make um, the cooking process a lot easier. Basically, I'm making medicine delicious. So I have a whole bunch of nutritious products that I have to offer, like jerk seasoning, curry seasoning, which I'll be using some of them today, and um, different beverages like a ginger belly milkshake, a groundnut paste and banana milkshake, um, I have cashew cream as well, a fiery pepe, <laughs> um, and other products. So you can check out my Instagram at plantskingdom.co. So that's P L A N T K I N G D O M dot C O. So tonight we're making Jamaican rundown. Um, rundown is basically like a dish that is like a coconut stew. The coconut milk is the base and you let it stew down and thicken and then you just basically add whatever else you want inside. So I have an array of things that I'll be putting in there today like I am going to put um, butternut squash to give it some sweetness and a lot more flavor. I have already blended the coconut milk here. This one I blended a little bit with um, some of the butternut squash that was left over. Um, and then I have some okra here that we'll be adding in later. Uh, carrots, shallots, um, garlic, oyster mushrooms. Um, these beans, for us in the US, they're lima, but the lima ones are all white. This has like a black part. So, what's the local name, Kwabena? Patram beans. Patram beans. So, in the local market, it's patram beans. Then I have my jerk seasoning here. I'll use a little bit of that. Um, pimento is the spice in the jerk that gives it its unique flavor. If a seasoning says it's jerk seasoning and doesn't have pimento, which is also called allspice, it's not jerk. <laughs> um, a little bit of salt. And then this is, um, so I had a whole bunch of fennel from um, Gut Care, which is in Adensa. They do a lot of like colon health services. Um, we were vending there last Saturday. They're now doing uh, farmer's markets weekly, two times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So one of the girls there was selling fennel. So I got some fennel. And to preserve it, because herbs basically <laughs> wilt and go bad really fast, especially like fennel, dill, cilantro, I just chopped it up really small and then put it in coconut oil. So this is a coconut oil infused fennel. So I'll add some of that in there. Um, and then I've also got a little bit of my curry seasoning. May go in there depending on how I feel. <laughs> and that's it. So let's get started. Is that on low? Okay. So I'm just going to um, saute the vegetables for a little bit in a little bit of coconut oil. is always so high.
Then I'm going to put some of the mushrooms in. Just to get a little caramelization. And a little salt. So I'm just going to finish preparing the rest of the mushrooms. I don't know if I said this last time I was here, if I had it at the time. I don't think I did. But um, I'm always saying how the mushroom variety in Ghana is limited. But I found someone who has medicinal mushrooms. So I just recently got some cordyceps from him. He also has, um, I think, chaga and reishi in tincture form. So if you guys are interested in that information, just like comment in the comment section that you want his contact and I'll share that with you. But um, those mushrooms are great for like providing energy and just building immune function. So that's why I'm going to be using it. <laughs> and then I actually just got a um, mushroom kit from the US because my sister was visiting for lion's mane, so I'm excited for that. It's already growing. So I'll have a little bit of variety soon. Oh, but I need those. <laughs> Don't take them too far. They're like the star of the show. I know the bottles are ugly. <laughs> take these out and I can do the coconut cream. This one I blended the coconut with some of the butternut squash, so this one has a lot more. flavors in there so make sure you get that out. So Jamaica 
chicken rundown is usually made with um, salted mackerel, so fish. But you know, we're doing vegan over here, so. Mushrooms and vegetables will be our um, rundown version. So the coconut milk um, basically is the fats that you use, like you don't need to add oil or anything like that. I only added a little bit of oil earlier just for sauteing the vegetables, but um, it's a dish where you wouldn't need to add any additional oil because the coconut is full of oil itself. And it's a great oil substitute in place of um, like your vegetable oils, canola oils, things, coconut, avocado, those are the oils that are better. And you'll see this is like a really easy thing to do. Once it heats up, we'll just add everything inside there, and that'll be it. And then I'm just going to chop up the okra. Well, let me put these beans in as well, so they can get soft. Well, they're soft, but just so they... So those were pre-boiled, so they're already cooked. But just so they can get some more flavor, because beans don't taste like anything. <laughs> I'm scared of this stove, because it's always out of control. See, there it goes. Okay, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there to start. We'll adjust as we go. And this okra looked so much better yesterday when I bought it, <laughs> but it still looks nice. They were just picked yesterday. I won't put too much in there because I don't want to add so much of the slime factor. It's just to kind of thicken and add nutritional value and um, flavor and all that stuff. I'm just going to add the okra in now, just so it can start to break down and do its slimy action. Can you hear me okay? Okay, good. Oh, see, it's already going everywhere. So let's put the butternut squash inside. I like them, um, what would you call this? Shredded? <laughs> um, I like them shredded. 
to add some more coconut. Well, I guess if you're in like a tropical area where coconuts are readily available, it's really easy. Um, so coconuts here are so cheap and I'm able to... I forgot my spinach, which I, I always try to add greens when I'm cooking just because I just really can't get them. Uh, but I forgot it. So upper is our only green for <laughs> Salt again. <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit more salt. a bit more jerk because why not and I'll put a little bit more curry too so my flavor comes from the seasonings these two it's pretty much the base in my bottom a little bit of my fennel coconut concoction and that's just for um, a little extra flavor <laughs> and the coconut oil will solidify so to basically like hold it in there yeah, that hooker doesn't want to leave me alone One more 
taste. in the jerk seasoning but not not much very little oh here let me give you some extra mushrooms do you like mushrooms uh, do you want some extra mushrooms do you want some extra mushrooms It's not everywhere though. Like it took me a while to find them for the first time. I just was walking in the markets and then I saw it and I was like, what is this? I've never seen these beans before. <laughs> so I, it's not like you can find it at every bean seller. You know what I mean? And are they growing in, uh, in Ghana, this, uh, this bean? I think so, but I haven't talked to the women because I've only bought it like a few times, but I haven't spoken to them. So the what's the name of the beans again? Kwabena. How do you call it? Patlam? Pat lamb beans. I will try my best uh, pat lamb beans in the market. <laughs> tuning in tonight we'll see you next time thank you <laughs> oh and instagram is plantskingdom.co